Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2019 Motorsport UK British Kart Championships here at Rissington Kart Club, just off uh, RAF Bryce Norton and RAF Shennington. My name's Alex Goldschmidt, the commentator for this weekend, and we have four different classes set to get into uh, respective action for round five of the 2019 season. It sees Honda Cadet, TK, uh, Junior TKM and TKM Extreme in the repechage stages getting underway in the next couple of minutes with KZ2 making its inaugural appearance for the first of four rounds this season. The finals this afternoon will commence at 2 p.m. local time with KZ2 starting the action as a result of the fact that they have around 22 to 23 entries this weekend and they have a slightly uh, lower capacity grid. There will be no repechage. So first up, we will have the Honda Cadets. Over 50 competitors in this category. It's still a battle at the front between Japan's Keen Nakamura Berta and Mitchell Gibbons from Ambition Motorsport. The pair tied on points with the latter being in the lead of the standings due to having the uh, effectively the last win at PF International a few weeks ago. So as a result of the heat stages, the top 28 automatically qualify in all uh, Honda, Cadet, Junior, TKM and TKM Extreme. That will be the format for the repechages this afternoon. And then the top six from the repechage from each category will then complete the 34 strong grids this afternoon. So the main thing is, ladies and gentlemen, that the rain has stayed away. There's been some sunshine this morning, which is very good to see. So it will be 12 minutes plus an additional lap as the Honda Cadets come out for race 13 of the weekend. Repechage number one. So on this grid will be the number 47 of Damien Barris Haggett, the number 11 of Macy Hitter, Josh Rudd in the 82, Gustav uh, Yusakovs in the 89, Lewis Islin in the 12, Ollie Handley in the 66, Timo Jungling from Germany in the number 90, Bradley Bick in the 32, Danny Shields in the 29, with Dylan McKay in the 56, and Sophie Kinghorn in the 83. Jacob Gilman in the 48, Anastasia Dane in the number 85, with Joe Cheek in the 72, Ralph Jungling in the number 94, with Aidan Mitchell in the 14, Miles Turnbull in the 43, Yehan Kalichern in the 13, with Wesley Swain, number 92, the number 54 of Michael Morgan. Stephen Barnes in the number 61. Kasper Tomalewski representing Project One Racing in number 20. Callum Ghosh from Cutting Edge Racing in the number 88 with Reg Hayward rounding out the contingent that will go into battle over the next 12 minutes here at Rissington. So it's round two of the championship. Top six will automatically qualify for the 34 strong that will go into battle for their first of two finals this afternoon at 25 past two. Standing start formation applies to Honda Cadets as they're just getting the remainder of the grid into position. And once the race director is happy, we will go racing into the business end of round two for Honda Cadet. Current air temperature 12 degrees. Track is very much bone dry. So we'll wait for the race director to put the lights on the gantry, which he does. The revs start to rise here at Rissington for the first repechage of the meeting. Four lights, and we go racing. Great start from Damien Barris Haggett with Macy Hitter slotting in behind. As uh, it's three abreast, and there's a, some brazen moves going into the first corner, going through Panic Bend as they go into the loop for the first time. Barris Haggett has got an initial lead. 
as they go towards uh, the top bend before hitting the back straight before they go all the way down to the dog leg. That hitter is right on the back bumper of Barris Haggett heading down into the dog leg for the first time of asking. Some great momentum sweeping corners around here at Rissington. As it is side by side for the lead at the moment. Who's going to get there first? It looks to be hitters up in front of Barris Haggett in the initial foray. So they now come into the elbow for the first time. A very tight left-hander before they go around the right that bullies them onto the start-finish straight. But Barris Haggett is having absolutely none of it at the moment. The 82 of Josh Rudd is in third place. Lewis Islin jumps up into fourth. Yusakovs and Handley ran at the top six with Danny Shields, Timo Jungling down from seventh into eighth position with Bradley Bick and Sophie Kinghorn making move up into the top ten. But it is Macy Hitter coming under stern opposition from Damien Barris Haggett. But look at where Josh Rudd is in comparison with the number 47. Right in the slipstream. And it looks like Yusakovs is running the back bumper of Islin going into the dog leg. And there are some moves trying to be anticipated and then executed there. Other drivers, Ralph Junglings made the move up into 12th position on the first lap here as they come as we've got a warning for the number 32. And that is Bradley Bick as Macy Hitzer continues to lead at the moment ahead of da Damien Barris Haggett, Josh Rudd, Lewis Isden, Gustav Zyakovs and uh, Ollie Handley still completing the top six whereas Bradley Bick who's just been given the warning flag has got past Timo Youngling for 8th position. Meanwhile, other drivers that have made positional moves. Callum Ghosh has dropped from 17th to 20th. Wesley Swain has gone all the way up from 19th to 14th. Anastasia Dane rounds out the top 15 at the moment, but Macy Hitter still at the front of the moment. And the top two starting to break away now. So Macy Hitter leads, but by a mere fraction from Damien Barris Haggett in the number 47. Very accomplished as a Bambino and also raced in Honda Cadets last year and took a championship. Oh, a little touch there between Lewis Islin and the number 89 of Yusakovs who jumps up into fourth place. Danny Shields now overtakes Ollie Handley for the last of the six coveted positions to go into the top 34 for the two finals this afternoon. So at the moment, top 10, it's Macy Hitter by literally, it was a tenth of a second last time around between Macy and Damien Barris Haggett, Josh Rudd in third, Gustav Yusakovs in fourth, Lewis Islin and Danny Shields round out the top six. Top ten are completed by Ollie Handley, Bradley Bick, Timo Jungling, who's dropped from seventh to ninth, and Sophie Kinghorn in still in tenth position. But the gap is absolutely astronomical between Hitter and Barris Haggett, who are battling tooth and nail for the lead. And are about nine tenths of a second uh, ahead of Josh Rudd, who crosses the top finish line. The gap's now extended to 1.3 seconds. The pace at the front is absolutely blistering. It's 50s between Damien Barris Haggett, who's just done a 50 flat, and Macy Hitter's just done a 50.07. Both setting their best sector times in sector number three here. Meanwhile, further overtaking happening at top bend. As Lewis Islin's going up the inside of Josh Rudd for the dog leg, tries to keep it switched back in. Going into the bottom straight, has he made the move? I think he has. Lewis Islin in the number 12 from uh, Cutting Edge Racing, now up into third place. So Islin has overtaken both Gustav Yusakovs and also Lewis Islin. So this is starting to change in complexity. Seven minutes, 37, plus an additional lap to go here in the repercharge for the Honda Cadets as there's more moves. And it looks like Yusakos has got past Josh Rudd going through the second part of the loop. Nice work by the, by the number 82 there, but the leader still was the quartet. Well, the trio behind as uh, is there going to be a move up the inside of Islin? Looks like Rudd has retaken the place on the following lap. But you cannot put an A4 sheet of paper between Macy Hitter and Damien Barris Haggett, who are locked together in this fantastic battle for the lead of this race. The top two positions look to be secured provisionally at this moment. But look at the battle behind. Islin, I think, is still fending off the, the duo behind, which is now Yusakovs. 
And also, Bradley Bick has just got past Josh Rudd. So Rudd has now got a ringside seat, seeing what the three in front do, which is being led by Lewis Islin in the number 12 from Cutting Edge. Meanwhile, down a bit further, the two younglings, Timo and Ralph, up to seventh and eighth. It looks like their pace has slightly increased. But they got past the likes of Danny Shield and Wesley Swain at the moment, who completes the top 10. And Swain is up from 19th already. That's a great drive from the number 92. We're coming into around the last six minutes, but look at the gap. The gap is absolutely into another county here with Macy Hitter and Damian Barris Haggett keeping it toe to toe. 11 leads, 47 trying to do the switch back, coming around the final corner, goes side by side, is he going to get it at Paddock Bend? Yes, but Hitter is straight on the offensive, heading into the loop, great battle at the front, the trio behind, it's still between Islin, Yusakovs and Bick, that's for the top five, Josh Rudd still looks to be in sixth position, but it looks like Timo and Ralf Jungling are working together to try and close up into the top six positions. The gap now between Damien Barris Haggett in second and Lewis Islin in third is 2.85 seconds. So this is not allowing, as it looks like, is it me or is that Timo Jungling trying to force the issue with Josh Rudd, trying to keep it nice and clean? The, the pair of Junglings racing under the Heinz Racing bar banner here this weekend. As uh, well, it looks like. Hang on, Yusakos has just lost out to Bradley Bick. Yusakos has had to use a lot of spatial awareness there. As now, here comes Josh Rudd, and here come the younglings. Two by two. Young uh, Timo sends it up the inside of Josh Rudd, who's put to the outside coming through the second part of the loop. Rudd is going to have a bit of a toe here, but it looks like Ralph Younglings got through as well. So that has changed the complexity of the top six yet again. But in the meantime, the lead has swapped now to Damien Barris Haggett in the number 47. And now Hitter is now going into that position that he's been situated in. Uh, that, uh, well, no, the change has happened again. Macy Hitter hits the front once more. And Damien Barris Haggett trying to do the same as what he did on the last tour. But Hitter is having none of it going into Paddock Bend. Meanwhile, the pair of cutting edge racers in the form of Lewis Islin and Bradley Bick have pulled away. Meanwhile, it is Ralph Jungling that's taken the advantage and has jumped up into fifth position. What, a, what great work from the German. Started 15th, now up, now up into fifth position. Josh Rudd now down from third into sixth. Timo Jungling, Gustav Yusakovs now in the true danger zone here as the Project One racing driver is now down in eighth ahead of Wesley Swain, who's up from ninth to who's up to ninth now from 19th position on the starting grid when we went green just over eight and a quarter minutes ago. So it's three minutes and, uh, and 38 on the clock as Barrett Haggett is trying to do the same tactic on Hitter yet again, coming through the final corner. It's line of stern between Islin and Bick. Ralph Jungling still fending off Josh Rudd. There is absolutely nothing between the pair at the moment. And those are for the two final spaces. So at the moment, they go. Uh, the two leaders now going down the back straight, heading towards the dogleg here at Rissington. A great battle at the front. And they have extended their gap to Lewis Islin to around 3.3 seconds at this moment. So three minutes exactly on the clock, plus an additional lap to go in this Honda Repechage heat for the second round of the 2019 Motorsport UK British Kart Championships here at Rissington. But what a battle at the front. Macy Hitter from Heinz Racing and privateer runner Damien Barris Haggett really showing that a privateer can mix it with the big teams here in karting. And this is on a national level. Lewis Islin and Bradley Bick have pulled a little bit of gap between themselves and Ralph Jungling to the tune of about six tenths. There or thereabouts, with Josh Rudd rounding out the top six at the moment. Timo Jungling in seventh position, still a little bit further away from this battle than the young German would like, as the leaders now come through into the uh, bottom straight here. So Macy Hitter's now pulled a gap of around a cart length and a half between, us, uh, between her and also Damien Barris Haggett. So the battle now starting to uh, drop off a little bit here. I think it's now about conservation and making sure that they get through with no mechanical issues 
and no contretemps involved. Meanwhile, Cutting Edge Racing's Lewis Island and Bradley Beck still complete the top four. They're working together, it looks like. But the good news is for Ralph Jungling, he's got some clean air now as uh, Josh Rudd has sort of tail end up, tailed, uh, tailed off a little bit but looks to compete uh, to keep that, seven, uh, that sixth position. Meanwhile, looks like has Gustavos, uh, Gustav Yusakos overtaken Timo Jungling? That might be the case as there's more overtaking happening a little bit. Looks to be like between Danny Shields and Wesley Swain. And that is for... Uh, so Swain up to uh, effectively, that's a jump of up to 10 positions gained over the last 11 minutes. So leaders come across the start finish line. Warning flag there for the number 92. And that is Wesley Swain, who is now confirmed in ninth position. As it looks like that Bradley Bick has decided, I'm not staying behind Lewis Islin anymore. I'm going to go past him. But Lewis Islin has other up ideas. Goes through past his teammates at uh, the top bend, down towards the dogleg they head. Meanwhile, the two leaders still is going to be 34 seconds on the clock as they come through down towards the bottom straight. So Hitter and Barris Haggett have been toe-to-toe, -to -toe, wheel to wheel, pretty much all race. So 14 on the clock to go. So next time round, it will be last lap. As well, out of the blue, Ralph Jungling has caught up to Bradley Bick and also Lewis Islin. The young German is looking for an opportunity. Bick goes up the inside of Islin, going into the first part of the loop. Tries to make the move stick. Will Lewis Islin repeat the feat? He does. Jungling's trying to go with, but Bradley Bick closes the door very fiercely there, but does that f firmly but fairly. But no, Jungling's having none of it. Ralph goes up the inside of Bradley, going into the dogleg, takes fourth with around about a lap and a quarter to go. Meanwhile, the leaders heading into the elbow for the penultimate time of the Honda Repechage heat here at Rissington. And still leading the way, it is Macy Hitter from Heinz Racing, the number 11, ahead of the privateer in the 47 of Damien Barris Haggett, who takes a wider line, heading into Paddock to get the momentum, heading down towards the loop. Hitter has none of it, gets in front. Meanwhile, yep, Ralph Jungling up into fourth. Gustav Sarkos has made a great recovery drive up into sixth position. So last lap it is. Leaders coming down the back straight. It's a cart length between first and second. And the quartet behind are fighting over the last four positions, which will be provisionally decided right now as Barris Haggard is trying to get that lead. Nearly goes side by side. Has to pull back a little bit slightly there. As they come through the bottom straight for the final time, Macy Hitter leads in the number 11 from Heinz Racing as they come through the elbow for the final time. Checkered flag being prepared. Barris Haggett's going to go for it, but is Hit going to take it? Macy Hitter wins the Honda Repechage heat ahead by just 0.09 of a second. Gustav Yusakovs in the meantime has got to fourth. What a drive from the Project One racing driver to take fourth behind Lewis Islin from Cutting Edge Racing. Bradley Bick and Ralph Jungling from Germany provisionally take the top six positions in the Honda Repechage heat here at Rissington. So Macy Hitter from Heinz Racing in the number 11 wins the Honda Cadet Repechage heat here at round two uh, here at Rissington in the 2019 Motorsport UK British Car Championships Honda Cadet division by just 0 0.099 seconds from Damien Barris Haggett, Lewis Islin provisionally takes third in the number 12 from Cutting Edge Racing. Gustav Yusakovs from uh, Project One Racing in the number 89 was fourth ahead of Bradley Bick in the 32 with Ralph Jungling from Germany, making it all the way from 15th position up to sixth at the end and provisionally takes the final spot ahead of Timo Jungling in the number 90. Wesley Swain, Danny Shields, Joe Cheek round out the top 10, all separated by just over 8.1 seconds at the end of that Honda Repechage heat. Ollie Handley in 11th, Reg Haywood in 12th, making it all the way up from 24th position. So a gain of 12 positions. Great work by uh, the number 64. Jacob Gilman in 48 was 13th, ahead of Sophie Kinghorn, who is running at the lower part of the top 10 for the majority of the race, ahead of Dylan McKay, who rounds out the top 15. Anastasia Dane in 16th, ahead of Aidan Mitchell, Miles Turnbull, Michael Morgan, Callum Ghosh, Kasper Tomalewski, Stephen Barnes, Yehan Kalachan, and Josh Rudd. 
completing the 24 strong that took part in that first of three repercharges we have this afternoon. So that's the first of three repechage heats completed here this afternoon. Next up, we go to junior TKM. 37 or so competitors. So top 28 have already qualified. That will probably include the likes of Oliver Stewart, Zach Oates, and also uh, Harry Yardy Rose, who took pole position uh, yesterday in the uh, amalgamated group qualification stages. Before the heats got underway yesterday afternoon with Yardy Rose taking also a heat win. In terms of the uh, championship standings with regards to the respective categories. So coming into junior TKM. Oliver Stewart leads, so the, the, Scott, the Scott from uh, Jade Racing team on 127 points coming into this round. Zach Oates, a further four, uh, four, three points adrift. Lewis Harvey from Class and Motorsport in third with 115 points. Then it is quite, uh, let's just say the gaps are a bit shorter than a lot of people might realise. Jack Nicholson from Precision Racing in fourth on 114 with Scott Smith and uh, James Barty from Flex Motorsport rounding out the top six with Smith and Barty level on points on 113 apiece. Harry Yardley Rose uh, on, on 111 in seventh with Morgan and Kidd, Zach Taylor and Harry, Harry Wainwright uh, rounding out the top ten. I am aware that uh, there is one driver that won't be taking any further participation due to a broken clavicle. Unfortunately, Litchfield Motorsports' Bradley Beavers will be taking no further part. He was due to compete this morning, um, but we wish him all the very best in a welcome recovery. So again, for Junior TKM, as with Honda Cadets, it will be exactly the same. So top six will be through provisionally. So obviously we've had our first six decided in Honda Cadet. Uh, this is obviously provisional, pending any scrutineering and also compliance checks. So again, 12 minutes reset on the clock. So now, here's your grid for Junior TKM, race 14 of the race meeting here at Rissington. Repechage it is, and we have uh, Matt Marsh in the number 39, Kean Bennett in the 44, Benjamin Cox in the 82, Zach Taylor in the number 99. Joe Harrison in the 46, Max Davies in the 33 with Tom Johnson as part of the uh, Class and Motorsport stable in the number 42. Bradley Beavers uh, not taking any further part in the race weekend. Uh, not seeing any sign of Finley Saunders from Flex Motorsport in the number 88. But it's going to be a rolling start formation. Do we go lights out? No, full start is called. Full start is called. Race director not happy. Looks like Max Davies was clearly was uh, trying to catch up with the field. So it's one more time around. So we have seven competitors battling over the six positions that will comprise the top 34 that go through to the first final, uh, the two finals this afternoon. Honda Cadets' first final will be at four, uh, 2.25 p.m. All finals will be 15 minutes plus an additional lap in duration. So, let's see if we can go green this time. Let's find out. Lights out, and we're racing. 12 minutes on the clock. In the lead initially goes Matt Marsh in the number 39. Looks to be Benjamin Cox has slotted in his second going into the loop. A little bit of side-by-side, uh, -side, maybe between Tom Johnson and Max Davies going through to the loop for the first time. As they now go through into top bend for the first time of asking.
So Matt Marsh looks to be trying to get an initial getaway with those battling behind him. Looks like Zach Taylor's trying to put the pressure on with uh, Benjamin Cox in the number 82 as the leaders come through bottom straight for the first time, Vasking. Now into the tight left-hander at the elbow before the right-hander leading them onto the start-finish line. So it is Matt Marsh leading the 82 of Benjamin Cox in uh, second position. Zach Taylor now jumps up from fourth to third ahead of Kean Bennett in the number 44. Joe Harrison in the 46 is fifth with Max Davies and Tom Johnson, sixth and seventh respectively. So Matt Marsh has a gap, had a gap of just over three and a half tenths on the first lap completed here at Rissington. As they now come through, bottom straight, heading down into the elbow. So we're on lap number two, about to start lap number three. Looks like Matt Marsh might not Marsh not might not have his own way. No, he doesn't. Zach Taylor has sprung. And tries to go up the inside of the number 39, heading into Paddock Ben. Now the, uh, there's a move, looks to be Joe Harrison might have tried to get past maybe Benjamin Cox, who's dropped down into third position. As, yep, looks like the lead has gone in the favour of Zach Taylor heading into the dog leg. But it's side by side between second and third going into the bottom part of bottom straight as they come through into the elbow. So at the moment, it's now the number 99 that leads. Zach Taylor leads from Matt Marsh, who's got Benjamin Cox hot on his heels. Joe Harrison up from fifth, past Ken Bennett up into fourth position now. And the, uh, the field is actually separated by 1.4 seconds. Purple sector in sector one for Zach Taylor, 17.02 as the field goes through the dog leg. Now onto lap number four here. There has been a warning flag issued for the number 46 of Joe Harrison. As now has Harrison gone up the inside into third place. Let's have a quick look as they come across the start finish line. That is the case. So Harrison has got some pace and has just done the fastest lap of the race. It's a 43.7 from the number 46, who's up from fifth position. And he's going for second up the inside of the loop, going through past Matt Marsh, who's been pushed wide. Was that someone else going wide? But the thing is, is that Zach Taylor is now making some headway, has some clean air between himself and the rest of the field. So, leader coming through. I think the gap is going to be at least a second, or maybe even 1.1. Let's see when Zach Taylor crosses the finish line. Comes around the final corner. The 99 crosses the stripe. 43.69, fastest lap of the race. 1.72 seconds. Zach Taylor is absolutely flying, whilst the rest of them are squabbling between themselves, as Joe Harrison now is up into second from fifth position. Benjamin Cox now, down, now is in third in the 82. Kian Bennett down from second to fourth in the 44. Max Davies rounds out the top five with Matt Marsh now down all the way in sixth position at the moment, having started on pole with Tom Johnson from Class and Motorsport. Only about uh, less than two tenths as the leaders check. Well, the second position has changed. It looks to be fourth now. So Harrison has also got some distance between himself and also Benjamin Cox and Kean Bennett who are still looking to battle tooth and nail over what is third place Matt Marsh uh, now up into uh, effectively fifth position Max Davies and Tom Johnson rounds out the top seven well all seven competitors that are circulating here seven minutes and ten seconds to go here in the uh, junior TKM repechage here at Rissington so two seconds was the gap between Taylor and Harrison last time around. Now that Harrison has got a bit of clean air, that might help in terms of lap time. But how quickly can Joe uh, Harrison close up onto Zach Taylor, who puts in a 43.77? The gap now between first and second position is now up to 2.42 seconds with Benjamin Cox uh, 
sternly fending off Kian Bennett at the moment. And with them looks to be Matt Marsh in the 39. So Marsh has got the toe on Bennett, heading into the dogleg. Cleanly makes the move up in the inside of Bennett into the dogleg. Uh, but then Bennett retaliates and goes side by side with the number 39, heading into the bottom straight. And Marsh actually keeps it, hung around, uh, keeps it hanging around the outside in order to make sure that he facilitates the move going through into the elbow. Nice and clean from the 39 there. Zach Taylor now is just incrementally increasing that lead up to 2.58 seconds. We're now on to lap number nine here in the T Junior TKM Repechage. So at the moment, running order still. Zach Taylor leads by 2.58 seconds as we might see a change for third position, which we do. Looks like Matt Marsh has gone up the inside of Benjamin Cox going into the dog legs. So 39 and 82 look to a swap positions. But this doesn't mean that Benjamin Cox is going to fall away by the wayside. So Marsh still hanging on to third at the minute. Kean Bennett is now with them, and third to fifth is separated by just three tenths. As now it looks like Max Davies has also joined this ba uh, this battle. So the entire field separated by just six point one five seconds from first to se uh, seventh position. As best sector at the minute in sector one has been the number thirty nine, and that's Matt Marsh. Whereas Zach Taylor has just set a personal best in sector number one out of a 17 flat. Joe Harrison now has a gap of around eight tenths of a second between himself and Matt Marsh, who is still leading the quartet behind uh, the number 46. And the fastest driver out there at the moment is Zach Taylor, who has just done a 43.61. Four minutes and 20 seconds plus an additional lap to go here. And it looks like there has been a positional change. Uh, looks like I'm thinking, who is that for? That looks to be for fourth and fifth. So it seems to be between Benjamin Cox and Kim Bennett, where the action seems to be happening at the moment. As uh, I think, is that Bennett going up the inside into the elbow? That is the case. So Kean Bennett now takes uh, fourth position away from Benjamin Cox with Max Davies uh, pretty much with the uh, 82 going through into the loop. Drops off a little bit there. As Benjamin Cox is still keeping in close proximity with Kean Bennett. So top six will qualify. Three and a half minutes plus an additional lap to go here. And uh, Zach Taylor's lead is now... 3.33 seconds. He's just done the fastest purple sector of the race in sector one. 16.93 uh, from the number 99. He's come through the elbow and is going to go through the right-hander onto the start-finish straight. Crosses the timing line. And as a 43.67. So running in the 43.6s is our uh, current leader. Joe Harrison up from fifth at the moment, up into second position. 3.8 seconds adrift of the leader. Who has got Matt Marsh in... Close proximity. Well, Marsh could be trying to steal the move for second up into the top bend, which uh, the number 39 does. So recovers nicely, having dropped all the way down to around fifth or sixth position. Meanwhile, Zach Taylor is just cruising away and uh, pulling a gap quite considerably. So it could be close to four seconds or maybe just uh, above that. So there's a 43.88 on that last lap. Matt Marsh in second. Gap now 4.13 seconds between first and second position. Joe Harrison, a further close to three tenths adrift of the number 39. Kean Bennett in the 44 in fourth position ahead of Benjamin Cox and uh, Max Davies. No moves happening at the moment into the... Uh, Dog leg by those occupying second to sixth position, which is Matt Marsh, Joe Harrison, Kean Bennett, Benjamin Cox, and Max Davies. So Zach Taylor does a 43.73 on that last lap. Let's see what the lap from Matt Marsh was. 
44.07. Gap now nearly four and a half seconds between uh, the leader and second place. As Joe Harrison now up into, uh, well, has gone up into third position. Now ahead of the pair of Kean Bennett and Benjamin Cox, who are still squabbling, well, who were squabbling away a little bit earlier on in this uh, repechage. As we're coming down to the uh, final moments here. One minute and 13 seconds on the clock, plus an additional lap as Zach Taylor continues to uh, just keep doing what he's doing, keep it calm and composed, keep it on the asphalt as he comes around the final corner to cross the finish line. One minute plus an additional lap, so we could be having this and maybe another couple of laps here. So three laps to go here at Rissington in junior TKM repechage. Taylor now heads into top bend. As uh, well, there looks to be uh, a bit of a, a three-man brawl up at, uh, well, it's going to be a five-person brawl heading down into the dogleg now, being led by Matt Marsh in the number 39. Joe Harrison in third place, closely followed by Kean Bennett, Benjamin Cox and Max Davies. So this could decide where they line up on the uh, grids later on in the two finals with Zach Taylor just keeping it nice and composed. 17 seconds, so the final lap board will come out the next time. As you cannot put anything between uh, Marsh, Harrison, Bennett, Cox and Davies. They're all separated by just under six tenths. Going on to the uh, penultimate lap of the race. Taylor now uh, accelerates all the way down to the dog leg. Turns in nice and tightly. Through the left, into the right, heading down the uh, bottom straight. So time has expired. Matt Marsh, in the meantime, has got some distance between himself and the number 46 of Joe Harrison, who's got Keen Bennett in the 44, hot on the heels. And nice move there by Max Davies, trying to go up the inside of Benjamin Cox. But last lap board it is being showed to the field as we just wait for Tom Johnson to come through. He's coming through the final corner as I speak to take the last lap board. Meanwhile, by this time, the top end has just seen Zach Taylor circumnavigate it down all the way towards the dog leg. Gets the head down. 5.54 seconds for the Litchfield Motorsport driver. So what's going to happen between the uh, quintet behind? It'll be uh, easy to see whether Kean Bennett might still a move on Joe Harrison as the checker flag will now wave for Litchfield Motorsports. Zach Taylor, who wins the junior TKM repechage in second position. It's going to be Matt Marsh. Joe Harrison holds on for third, ahead of Kean Bennett, Benjamin Cox, and Max Davies, with Tom Johnson finishing in seventh position. So provisionally, Zach Taylor, starting from fourth position, takes the win in the Junior TKM repechage here for round two of Junior TKM at Rissington, ahead of Matt Marsh by 5.85 seconds. What a dominant show from the Litchfield Motorsport driver. Matt Marsh, one of the privateers in junior TKM in second, having started on pole. Joe Harrison was a further four or five tenths adrift in uh, third position, having started in, six, in fifth ahead of Kean Bennett. Benjamin Cox and Max Davies rounds out the top six. That's the provisional top six going through, pending any scrutineering checks and any compliance checks as well. So, we have just uh, one more repechage to go, and that will be uh, TKM Extreme. Top 28 have already qualified. Difficult. Uh, qualification for Chris Witten, the current points leader who did the double at uh, PF International. Uh, qualified 34th from memory, but has still managed to try and uh, make his way through to get into the final stages. So again, with TKM Extreme, it will be a case 
of the top six going through. Coming into TKM Extreme, Mitchell Gibbons is on 130 points. Second position is James Pashley in the number 52, one of the many privateers. He's currently on 121 points. Michael Cornell, another privateer, rounds out the top three on 118. Dead level with Ryan Cole from Flex Motorsport in the number 48, with another privateer in the form of Kai Springfield in the number 97, rounding out the top five. Level on points with Litchfield Motorsport's Kyle Sproat in the number seven. Top 10 are completed by privateer number 93, James Ogden. Lee Whittingham from Talco Racing in the number nine. Jade Racing Team Sam Fowler and Litchfield Motorsports Harry Moore round out the top 10. And they're separated by just uh, 100 and... F- uh, they're, they're not split by 100 points, Alex. Uh, 25 points coming into this round. I know that Abby Pulling, who's currently sitting in 11th position on 104 points level with Adam Sparrow, who took pole position yesterday, and also the first heat win of the weekend. Um, and we'll see how things transpire in about a minute and a half's time. Again, it will be a rolling start formation. So Junior TKM will have their first round of, uh, well, their round three, effectively, of their championship at uh, uh, 2.50 p.m. That's 14.50 British summertime. Even though the sun has somewhat decided to fade away, but the humidity feels a little bit there in the commentary box, I will be honest. But we will have six places to decide in terms of the TKM Extreme races. The first final will take place at quarter past three this afternoon. Again, will be 15 minutes plus an additional lap. So again, it will be 12 minutes on the timer, reset, and then also we will have the TKM Extreme Repechage competitors coming out of the pre-grid, which is happening now. Austin Monday in the 24, Aaron Lask in the 44, Jack Godden in the 22, James Ogden in the 93, Isaac Marsh in the 40, Ethan Newsham in the 31. Tony uh, Kazugel in the number 11, Megan Lawson in the 34, Kai Springfield in the 97, Owain Rosser, who I absolutely have to give kudos to, good sir, uh, circumnavigated Rissington with his left hand on the steering wheel and the right hand controlling the uh, throttle arm as the cable had gone, so he wasn't using the accelerator, so to speak. Zach Bowen in the 18, James Buckingham in the 25, Will Lakin in the 67, Maria Bright in the 72. And it's been a difficult weekend in the office for Alexander Lehman, who didn't make it out for qualifying and then I think had troubles in heat in the first heat. So again, it is a rolling start formation. Two by two, 12 minutes on the clock, red lights on the starting gantry. Will we get a first start this time? The revs start to build. They rise, lights out, and we go racing. Monday takes the initial advantage. Heading into the uh, loop for the first time as the uh, entire field tries to make its way through. Some good moves around the outside of the loop as someone goes very, very wide. That looks to be Alexander Lehman in the 91 at the back end of the field. But Austin Monday looks to have got the whole shot in the TWM uh, 24. Nice change there for fourth position, or trying to be a change there, trying to get the switch back. So there is a side-by-side for fourth and fifth at the minute. But the driver out in fourth position still very clearly in front. So let's find out who's where after lap one here at Rissington in TKM Extreme Repechage. So it's Monday, followed by Lask, Godden, Isaac Marsh, and Wayne Rosser. 
Now up into fourth and fifth respectively and dropping down from fourth to sixth is James Ogden. Ethan Newsham and Tony Kazigal also complete the top end, uh, top eight. 11 minutes plus an additional lap to go. Zach Bowen up from 11th into 9th. James Buckingham up from uh, effectively 12th to 10th position. Maria Bright's also made a couple of places in the meantime. Up into 12th is the number 72. As uh, now it looks like there's been a change as Aaron Lask got past Austin Monday for the lead. And it could be that Marsh has got past Godden going through into the elbow. Godden could be uh, very un could be very unlucky here, and he's lost out to a Wayne Rosser up from tenth to fourth. So the number fifty-three definitely showing good pace when he hasn't had to worry about using the throttle arm on the right-hand side of the fifty-three. So a Wayne Rosser, one of the privateers, quite a few in this. Up from tenth to fourth position. So it is last Monday. Marsh, Rosser, Godden, and Newsham. That's your top six of the minute. TKM Extreme, always a very competitive category as they come through bottom straight, heading towards the elbow on lap number three. So last continues to lead by a quarter of a second ahead of Austin Monday. Owain Rosser again has made up another place. Up into third, so the 53 goes up for second and takes it through the loop. But I'm just keeping an eye. I think that was a very fair and not overtly robust move uh, from my commentary position. Meanwhile, this is going to allow Aaron Lask from Precision Racing to uh, get away from everybody. But I don't think that's going to happen. It's been very close, very even, Stephen, as there is a, a big squabble brooding around about sixth position. And leading that will be Jack Godden at the moment, who's dropped all the way from third to six. So Godden could be in the firing line as, whoa, what? someone goes bumping on the outside of the elbow. That is the number 22 of Jack, of, uh, Jack Godden, who's dropped all the way down from third, having started third position, as there is a move for the lead. Was that a Wayne Rosser making the move on Aaron Lask, who's now coming under complete pressure from Austin Monday, who's gone up the inside of the uh, number 44. So last now drops from first to third. Warning flag for the number 11 of Tony Kazuga from France in T for TWM. Oh, and we got one stuck on the inside of the dog leg, waiting for the whole field to go past. That could have been very nasty indeed. But the uh, good avoidance and good uh, reflexes from the remainder of the field to get past and take it respective avoiding action as the number 34. Of, uh, Megan Lawson goes up the inside of Zach Bowen. So Megan Lawson up on a charge now, having uh, made a bit of a resurgence. Maria Bright has got past James Buckingham. She's now down into 14th position behind Alexander Lehman, who's having a better time uh, this afternoon. But the top six will go through. Newsham's up the inside of last, going into the dog leg. So the 31 past the 34, uh, 44 for third position. Meanwhile, Wayne Rosser is starting to try and pull away, break the toe that Austin Monday might have at some point. Seven minutes and 40 seconds, plus an additional lap in his final repechage of the meeting. So, Wayne Rosser goes in, but Ethan Newsham is trying to claw some time back and has gone from sixth to third and has just set the fastest sector three of anybody and has just set the fastest lap of this race of 43.32. But Rosser is leading now what is effectively a seven-car train. That's Rosser, Monday, Newsham, Lask, Ogden, uh, Marsh with Kazugel not that far adrift. There's still seven minutes plus an additional lap to go. So it's anyone's guess as to what's going to happen next. As Newsham tries to go up the inside of Monday into the, into the elbow and makes the move stick before the final corner. But now it's going to be a, a time for uh, Monday to respond as uh, James Ogden is fiercely battling with Aaron Lask for what is effectively fourth position. This is going to allow James. O this is going to allow Isaac Marsh into the foray here. And you can't really put anything between anybody in the top seven, which is from Owain Rosser in the lead of this race, having started from 10th position. So that's on the outside of row number five. But Ethan Newsham has other ideas and through the bottom straight has the toe 
on a Wayne Rossa and gets the move into the elbow. What a great drive so far from Ethan Newsham, but also a Wayne Rossa now keeping even Stevens, trying to keep the same pace. It was a 43.22 from Ethan Newsham. That's the fastest lap of the race last time around. We're now on to lap number nine here. Five minutes and 55 seconds, plus an additional lap remaining in the repechage for TKM Extreme. As the leading seven go down into the dogleg, and there's, uh, there's five of them behind. Looks to be that we might have a move between Godden and Bowen there into the dogleg. I'll find out very shortly when they come across the start-finish line. But at the moment, Ethan Newsham is leading from a Wayne Rosser. So that's 31, 53, 24 of Austin Monday in third, being hounded by Aaron Lask in the 44, the number 93 of James Ogden. Isaac Marsh completes the top six. But when I say that Tony Cazigal from France is within two tenths of the number 40, this could be another change in the top six. So behind Zach Bowen's got past Megan Lawson for eighth position. Will Lakin up from 13th into 10th. Jack Godden down into 11th position, having started third. So God not having a really good day. Uh, well, not a good run behind the race wheel here. So Newsham started sixth, now leads. Just under five minutes on the clock to go. Ahead of Wayne Ross, started tenth, now up into second. Austin Monday, who started on pole. In third, Aaron Last, who started second. In fourth, James Ogden, who started fourth, now in fifth, ahead of Isaac Marsh, who also started in fifth position. But Tony Cazagel, who was in the uh, mid part of the grid, but it looks like we've got uh, a few starting to break away now because uh, I'm seeing now what has happened to Austin Monday. Austin Monday is no longer in third position. I think that's fifth. So Austin Monday in the number 24. Is there something out of my line of sight that I probably didn't catch as the two leaders? Now, Aaron Lask going up the inside for what is third position. And that is on the number 93 of James Ogden, who now takes fourth. Monday is out of the top, is out of the top six. Monday is all the way down into, well, Austin Monday. Where has Austin Monday disappeared to? And has he parked it? So Austin Monday started on pole position. No, Austin Monday's cart looks to be just off the uh, first part of the loop there after top straight. So Monday, race weekend comes to an abrupt halt, unfortunately. Ethan Newsham continues to lead ahead of Wayne Ross. The pair were nearly a tenth apart last time around as Ross is trying to get a bit of a fight back. Three minutes and 14 uh, to go on the clock. Oh, a bit of barging there between the 25 and 72. That was Maria Bright, who got a little bit of contact from James Buckingham going into uh, Panic Bend there. So Buckingham tried to go up the inside of the number 72 and made the uh, slightest tire-to-side pod contact there. Meanwhile, the two leaders still breaking away. Aaron Lask still sitting in third position, just ahead of James Ogden. They're two tenths adrift. It's nearly the same amount of distance between them and also the leaders. Well, not quite now, as Wayne Rosser has got the gap down to uh, probably not even a tenth as the pair battling over the lead. That's Ethan Newsham in the 31 and Wayne Rosser in the uh, 53. Where 0.11 adrift of each other coming across the start-finish line. Aaron Laskin third, James Ogden, Isaac Marsh and Tony Kazigel uh, round out the top six. Any, revol any results are provisional pending any post-scrutineering and post-compliance checks. So Austin Monday, an unfortunate retirement. So now will have to wait until fullback for the next round of the championship to uh, have an opportunity. Meanwhile, the battle for the lead, still around about a tenth and a half of a second between Ethan Newsham and Owain Rosser. So Newsham up from six. No, Rosser's going for the lead, and he's gone and taken it up the inside of the second part. Of the uh, loop there. So the number 53 up into first position. And actually starts pulling a, a bit of a gap between himself and Ethan Newsham on the first part of the back straight as uh, Newsham closes up into the dogleg. Followed by Lask, Ogden, Marsh and Kazugel. 
So, coming to the end of the uh, repechage uh, stages of the meeting, with one minute and ten on the clock to go, plus an additional lap. A Wayne Rosser in the number 53. From Great Dunmo, not too far from where I'm from, so he's made the uh, trip from just outside of Chelmsford in Essex to come and compete. Ethan Newsham uh, from Watford. So, 45 seconds are now on the clock. Plus an additional lap here to go. Two leaders have now extended the gap to nearly two seconds between Ethan Newsham and also Aaron Lask. So wondering what the gap will be this time around as Lask has been uh, having to fend off James Ogden, one of the many privateers in this repechage here. So they've crossed the line with about 20 seconds to go. Next time around, it will be last lap board. A Wayne Rosser still has Ethan Newsham along with him for company. Aaron Lask in third, James Ogden in fourth, Isaac Marsh in fifth, Tony Kazugel in uh, sixth position. So the French driver rounding out the top six as the leaders come through the exit of the dogleg for the penultimate time here in the TKM Extreme Repechage for the second race weekend of the championship. So last lap board it is for a Wayne Rosser in the number 53 from Great Dunmo, ahead of Watford's Ethan Newsham. So Aaron Lask from St. Ives. That would probably say Cambridgeshire to me. Uh, in third position, James Ogden, Isaac Marsh and Tony Kazugel uh, will be the people that are currently occupying the top six. Uh, Tony currently resides in Maidenhead. So... Checkered flag is being prepared, ready to wave as the two leaders come through the bottom straight for the final time of asking through the elbow for the last time in the TKM Extreme repechage comes a Wayne Rosser from Great Darmo in the 53 to win just fractionally ahead of Watford's Ethan Newsham in the 31. So it is a privateer 1-2 in the TKM Extreme repechage. Aaron Lask from Precision Racing out of St. Ives takes third. James Ogden takes fourth. Isaac Marsh in fifth with Tony Kazugel currently residing in Maidenhead in the 11 from TWM with the French nationality ablaze in the top six. Those results are provisional pending any scrutineering and compliance checks post-race. Kai Springfield made it up from ninth to seventh. Zach Bowen up from 11th to eighth. Jack Godden up to well down to ninth having started third. Megan Lawson would end up 10th in the end ahead of Will Lakin, Alexander Lehman, James Buckingham, Maria Bright and Austin Monday. The only unfortunate retirement with his day coming to an abrupt halt uh, just off the loop. So that's it for the repechage stage of TKM Extreme, completing that phase of the race weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, just under half an hour away, we get the finals underway here with KZ2 going into action first at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Enjoy the lunch break. I'll be back on the microphone just before 2 o'clock. So enjoy your lunch, get some hydration, and uh, wait for it. This is going to be special here this weekend. So, ladies and gentlemen on the Downforce Radio Network, that concludes live coverage of the 2019 Motorsport UK British Car Championships repechage stages for the second round or the second race weekend for Junior TKM, TKM Extreme and Honda Cadet. Join us just before two o'clock this afternoon where KZ2 sets the tyres ablaze here at Rissington for their first of four rounds of the championship. So it'll be rounds one and two for uh, KZ2, and then rounds three and four for Junior TKM, TKM Extreme, and Honda Cadet. My name's Alex Goldschmidt, signing off for now. I'll be back on the microphone, back on the airwaves, just before two o'clock. You do not want to miss this. <laughs>